Do you want to start from the beginning with your yeah, story? Let her tell a story. All right. Well, start from when you woke me up. Karen was away at school, college. You know, it was just you and Stephen home at the time. So, yeah, we got you up. I got ready for work, but I remember it was a beautiful day. Yeah. A gorgeous day. And here I took the ferry to work. I was feeling good and I was stalling that morning. And I never felt like that. It, it was kind of like an intuition I think I got. I actually went to a store to just browse around and I'm like, ah, darn it. I wish I really didn't have to go to work today. Yeah. And, you know, and it was just a routine and, you know, you get to work and take the elevators up. Now, where I worked was the 44th floor of the first building that was hit. Yeah. On the One World Trade Center. But, you know, I got my coffee in the morning. You, you see the same people every day. And so, I remember I used to go to that office and yes. I, you would take Stephen and I there. Yeah. Stephen, my brother, not this moron that we have here sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. He probably wasn't even alive then, the little weasel. Mm. He doesn't know anything about anything, but <laughs> um, yeah, you would take Steven and I there when we were little kids. I have little memories of like running around. We had those little like uh, laser guns, like Nerf guns or something. Mm -hmm. We would like have like shootouts in the, in the office, like run around the office. It was a pretty cool place to work. I loved working there. Mm -hmm. I love being in that building. You love the city. You love Manhattan. I love the city. Love Manhattan. I just- You even went back and worked at the new one when they built the new one. Well, across from the new one. Where building Every seven was? No, it wasn't where- Building seven was. It's sort of more closer uh, to the Hudson River side. So okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me let you tell your story because everybody in the comments always says I just interrupt and I keep asking questions in my mind. I, I have ADD or whatever, but we need to tell your story here. Okay. I need to stop That's interrupting. Dark piece. Let's get into the dark piece now, Mom. You can tell your story. The elevator that I took to get to my floor was the one to go to the sky lobby, which was the floor I worked on. If you worked on the higher floors, you would take the elevator that I took, then transfer over on my floor to the other, the higher floor. So you see people every day. All right, so now I get to work and my uh, supervisor, she was on the phone at the time. Shelly. Shelly. And then boom. Boom, the loudest explosion <laughs> I ever heard. Jesus. I'm sorry, I, I just wanna, I, I wanna lighten the mood a little bit. I mean, okay. <laughs> David was vlogging. Okay. No, 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 okay, I, no, I, no more, no I, more sound bites. No more, no more sound bites. I'm actually, emotional part. You know what floor the plane hit? It she was, was on 44th floor. The first plane hit on the 60th, right? Uh, yeah, probably 60 and above. So this is why I keep these 20 year old idiots around because mm -hmm. when you're doing stuff like this, these shows, you tell a story like you're explaining it to kids. So I have these people ask, you know, they chime in with their questions and it makes it easier to tell the story sometimes. The plane hits. The, the plane hits. Bends. So like oh, I'm up what? by the copier and it, it felt like the building bent over and stood back up and then there was all this rumbling and we had plaques on our walls, like of all our- the Picture frames. Yeah, presidents and stuff of our association. They came right down. The lights were flickering. My supervisor- That's well, not a sound bite. There's a helicopter. Is that? I was going to say, <laughs> no, are you, no, 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 you no, sound no. biting this right now? Another <laughs> no, plane coming no. through. There's a helicopter outside. <laughs> God damn. And, and we, she dropped a phone. We hugged each other like, what was that? But I had fallen over because the impact made me fall. Dang. And I stood up and- You fell down? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I never knew that. Well, you know what? I, I sort of forgot about that, but she reminded me when no. I had just recently saw her, and I told you on our way out here, we stopped. She now lives in Columbus, Ohio, so we stopped to see her. We didn't know what it was. We thought it was maybe like an explosion because the cafeteria was below our floor, <laughs> but the kitchen was on our floor. We thought maybe something blew up in the kitchen, but it was just too powerful. I mean, like I said, Everything, it was still rumbling, like a rumbling sound and shaking. My office had no window, so I went to go look out someone else's office where the windows were, and I saw debris coming from above us, like papers and all. Yeah. And I said to her, whatever happened, happened above us. So I grabbed my stuff, and I headed for the door, and she reminded me when I saw her, she said that you grabbed your stuff right away, and you said, I have to leave. I have kids. She told you to stay? She stayed another 10 minutes after I did. I headed right for the stairwell. I thought like after the first plane hit, they said it was just an accident, a plane hit the building. That was but the you second could... building that they told people. Oh, they worry. told people to stay in the second building. What? Don't worry, everything's okay. They said it was just yeah. a plane that accidentally hit the first tower. And, but they weren't, they didn't have any then, video, a clear video of the first building getting hit. There's like one or two videos. No commercial airlines were supposed to fly over Manhattan. You didn't expect that. Nobody expected. So people thought it was a Cessna or a small plane at the yes, time. Yes, because when I got in the stairwell, we all went down calm. People were going in the stairwell, just 
calm smoke? walking down was there any like fire smoke that you could like smell or not at that time yeah no. they were smoking weed in the staircase no uh, no no but i know what he well, means yeah, yeah. yeah they were smoking uh -huh. jewels <laughs> yeah but <laughs> puffing vapes they the do down. they do jewel breaks in the stairwell <laughs> <laughs> somebody in the stairwell had a cell phone and he was able to find out that the building was hit by a plane so we thought well maybe it was a small cessna or something yeah. like that not knowing anything but it was a good thing we didn't know because nobody was panicking yeah so we walked all the way down and then once we got to the like say the third floor water was gushing in so you blazed through that that was for 41 floors 44 yeah but then you got to the third floor and there's yeah. no water was water it was water? Water? just like At sprinklers that, and stuff yeah or, oh. probably oh because the fuel shot down the elevator shafts and burned people that were in the lobby right i think so to death like mm. people died mm. they got oh burned my God. people outside got burnt from the fuel too that you know had i because it was a ball of fire that yeah. just of gasoline on fire that just doused you when i got to the first floor the security guards they were like guiding people just run they pointed us in the direction over the uh, west side highway there was a pedestrian bridge and it was all enclosed in glass so it took you over the west side highway into the world financial center and they said just keep running don't look back they didn't say why they just said don't look back the reason why bodies were falling so I just kept running and running. I had no idea what happened. Mm -hmm. Nobody did. And by the time I got out, the both buildings were on fire. Oh, so the oh. second plane had already hit. So you didn't already hit plane, yeah, by the time you were out. The second plane had already hit the second While building. While you were going down the stairs? Yes. How long did it take the the like full tower to just collapse? Once I got outside and I saw things that I really didn't want to see, there were bodies falling or jumping from the top because these people had no place to go you saw people that were trapped that were trapped and they had no way of getting out there was nothing you could do there it was, was either burned to death or yeah jump and saw i the jumpers? saw the jumpers yeah i saw the jump and those were the people that used to take the elevator up up from the sky lobby so mommy saw all those people every day going up and she knew those were the people that weren't making right, it out. Right, And, you know, I did see people in the stairwell in wheelchairs talk about survivor's guilt. I said, man, if I could have just done something. I, you know, Like just was, throw somebody on your shoulder and carry them yeah, out? Yeah, but I couldn't, you know, do that. And then once I saw what I saw outside and I said, I just can't stay around and watch this. So I headed for the ferry. And I just started walking because I still had no idea what happened. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the two buildings burning and I'm... And, and people jumping and or falling and people trapped. At this point in time, he had no way of like like letting Jeff or no or Mr. Whitaker. No, like, cell okay. phone, there's the cell no phone. No, uh, the cell phone tower was on top of the first building, so there was no communication. I couldn't uh, okay. use my cell phone. That's why I couldn't call home. Uh -huh. But then again, but I would. I, I probably wouldn't have called home because I knew he was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, during all this, you be figured, mad at me for oh, waking okay. Somebody wasn't gonna worry, wake me up that day. <laughs> anyway, I get to the Staten Island ferry. I get in, and there were a lot of people there, and they were just looking to flee Manhattan. And people are saying to me, "What do we do when we get to Staten Island?" And I said, "Well, maybe you get a taxi, get home that way." But you know, Staten Island has like four bridges, right? So they had closed the bridges. You didn't think to stop at a pay phone or something <laughs> you could have get you could have maybe uh, you know through one of us there were lines at the pay phones and i'm oh, like yeah, oh, let me right. just get out of here it's like what i do with like stuff like i want like shock value like oh, i'm here you know I just had to get out of there you know i just let me get out and i'll explain things when i get home you know, um, what, are you crazy i gotta spend a quarter i'll see him in a little while yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i gotta spend a quarter yeah we're going nuts him and i we've had our only emotional moment together in life probably <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, eh, eh, let uh, him wait. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs>